This is a real quick documentation of the 1967 Airstream Globetrotter that I have done a frame off, restoration on, resto mod, whatever you want to call it. Uh, tongue was very, very rusty, had holes, so that had to be fish plated. Um, rebuilt jack has new brakes all around, new axle, um, and <clears throat> I put the plate on. It's an anti sway plate, has new. Uh, safety chains. Um, it has a Wi-Fi antenna that I modified, repaired the mast. This is uh, a new box for the gear that's inside. I don't know if you can see it, but it has gears that you crank. So adapted. Uh, this is a high frequency jack. Um, and rep <laughs> repainted the Airstream logo, but part of it paint peeled. So I'm going to do it again. Rebuilt the lights. These are Lexan glass, you can't get the curved glass anymore, so we'll see if that works. It's an outside scare light that my son made for me. It has a light, an LED light in it. This is a really cool water access aquar. That's for water, cold water out for like a shower or dog wash. This is hot water in, someday maybe an external hot water heater. Also have a solar water heater on the roof, that square thing. The big square thing is a 150 watt solar panel. Um, and it had weird taillights I took off. That's where all the holes are. Put the original uh, birthday cake lights back on. Uh, it has a backup light. There was a boo-boo. Apparently they put the water outlet there. Then they moved it down here. I have a flush thing on it right now. but So I put a backup light there. Uh, rebuilt the real rear box. We, we did the, re the, the license plate light. Put this cool globe plotter globe trotter uh, license plate with a backup camera on it this is uh, redone the so now it's 30 amp <clears throat> 30 amp to the original 15 amp same idea same holes same deal here there's a new brand new 110 15 amp out uh, original glass there another scare light there um, so inside I put a deadbolt on uh, added a little safety thing for the steps so when you're traveling they don't automatically deploy um, I have rebuilt the interior uh, I won't turn anything on right now but it all works that's the radio <clears throat> uh, just put the can the uh, projector in All right, cool hopefully that works I mean it works but it's like we'll see projecting there's some a bunch of outlets over there for Wi-Fi and things to add later I put 110 I mean I put a 12 volt jack on each side there really high current that can handle a bunch of watts um, cool pillows <laughs> this uh, converts the tree the table drops down sits on these kind of padded I may replace those but it sits on those little tiny ledges and turns into a queen-size bed with curved edges um, converted the lights to um, these uh, modern fans, I've got the brand name, the speed control on it. Same thing here. These uh, original, this doesn't even have a fan in it, so it has also speed control. Um, all the, the batteries underneath the middle part there. The, the charger converter is there. Solar control is there. That's an inverter there. Um, and put in this air conditioning it's disconnected right now but that hooks on to the back of that so it sucks air in and out through the floor to exchange with this which is a two hose uh, air conditioner which works works well we did the original cabinetry all that works and my son built so how we built this door it's got a magnet to hold it in but it's got this cool bathroom door <clears throat> and took the bathroom all out we did everything got my flamingo shower curtain um, there's the shower new toilet never been used Thetford uh, replaced the rear glass with tempered glass um, we did all this it's kind of dirty right now it's got bugs and stuff but a new faucet we built the closet this is a uh, that and then here's it's got a um 
110 volt, like seven gallon electric water heater. It's buried under, I'll put a, I'm gonna put a shelf there. It's got the original hanging coat, hanging rod and stuff there. Um, and in the kitchen, big, big, big sink. And cool drawers that actually you just press and they open. That one, because of the sink, it'd be a wee bit narrow. Tyler made those too, which is awesome. And more sinks. And another sink. And then this is underneath, underneath the sink. Um, and let's see, William made these little, William 3D printed this little box that allows these cheap Chinese screens to snap right in. So that's the current charging voltage and amperage going out, which is not any. I've got um, a couple more here up there. So it's voltage and temperature. So whenever the glass is closed, it shows through this through this uh, dark, dark red glass. Um, lights are rebuilt. Those work. And I have this cool cob LED down through the ceiling that gives nice light there. Uh, this, these loops are for the projector screen to hang on. And it's about done. And this is a cob light as well. It goes on that switch and there's also these work lights across the top there for working in the kitchen and that's the water pump and the light and then the light that I haven't done yet done put a skylight in for the refrigerator went out um, and I put a light in there and kind of finish that off so refrigerator 12 volt refrigerator freezer which works fine and it's got its own dedicated circuit it goes under the floor I built this little table for it to sit on so it can be also like a kid's work bench or whatever it's really strong so and floor mat new floor um underneath all of these are are storage boxes you can lift you can lift those are hinged you can lift that up if you want um or you can just get it from the bottom and i have a table that i rebuilt that goes on this in this space it flips up and becomes a table but i don't really have a use for it so i don't have it in right now um curtains these are fun. So they're made so that whenever you want to have privacy, they just hook on magnets there. There, so you have nice, nice light privacy. All right, that's all I know. Have a good day.